Hi guys, this is Miss Johnson. I'm filling in for Miss Pierce um, on getting you guys going for the year. Uh, Miss Pierce is going to be your full-time teacher, and I am just down the hall if you have any questions um, or concerns. So. So this is Ms. Pierce. She, she is the, your statistics teacher for this year. She's been on a statistics teacher for many years, and she's let me know that she's looking forward to working with you. Uh, you can contact her through Schoology Messenger, and um, her phone number at her desk is 254-215-73151, which won't be very useful, at least until she gets back on campus, um, and that's supposed to be pretty quick. So this is, uh, I am Ms. Johnson. Um, I am the AP statistics teacher on campus. Um, I have also taught regular stats and I'm the one actually setting up most of the assignments for you. So while she is, Ms. Pierce is out, if you have any questions or concerns, please send me a message through Schoology or email. Uh, in this presentation, I will detail the times that I have set aside to help with your uh, student, uh, with her students um, while she's absent. You can also, contact me through Schoology or send me a message or call my desk phone at 215-7126. So statistics, um, great quote is there are two types of statistics, the kind that you look up and the kind that you make. Uh, we are, in this class, you are looking at the kind that you look, uh, look up or uh, decipher by doing some um, calculations. Uh, we do not make up statistics. We actually don't just, you know, grab a number out of the air and then make that uh, say that that's the way the world is. We actually want to analyze the world to see if what we think is what is actually going on. Okay, so statistics is a science of collecting, organizing, analyzing, and interpreting data in order to make st decisions. So a uh, year at the glance, the first semester, we're going to look at units one through six, and then second semester, we'll look at seven through 10. And then in the six, six weeks, we will actually be doing two capstone projects where you'll actually do uh, one probability project and then one statistical analysis project where you'll actually design and carry out and complete a full-fledged uh, statistical analysis. So supplies that you'll need, um, this is suggested. Uh, they have not, Ms. Pierce doesn't specifically say that this is exactly what you need, but this is what my kids would use if it, in my classroom, and I highly recommend them. Uh, a one and a half inch three ring binder, uh, notebook paper, because you're gonna take a lot of notes, graph paper, again, a lot of notes and graphs that you'll create, pencils, colored pencils, and highlighters all come in handy. Uh, for our textbook for this year, uh, we are using an online textbook. It has not been given to us just yet for sign-on purposes, but as soon as it is provided, we will. I will provide you a detailed um, uh, the login. Uh, we are using. A, I will provide you with detailed notes and important excerpts from the book. The book that we are using is called Elementary Statistics. It's a college-level textbook, but it is written on a very, uh, very easy to read. Uh, set up and has great questions and examples. So again, when we get the online textbook access, I will provide you a logon via email and uh, provide it to the sub for the, her to give it to you in class. So Chromebooks are re required. Students are expected to bring their charged Chromebooks to class every day. The use of the Chromebooks in classroom will be for instructional purposes only and only at the direction of the teacher. Uh, we use basically five websites that we'll be working with and that's pretty much where you should stick to. If there's any question about that, please let me or the sub or uh, you can send a message to Ms. Pierce about whether or not you can do something. But in class, you should be working solely on statistics. Grading policy is 60% of the daily grade is daily grades. These are going to be uh, Schoology assignments. 30% is uh, tests and quizzes, and 10% is a journal grade, which is generated by doing watching the videos for the, 
and taking notes from Edpuzzle and answering questions while you're watching those videos. Okay. So the daily assignments, there are daily assignments, uh, warm-ups, and homework assignments, although the homework assignments is really just finish up whatever you didn't finish in class on the daily assignments, return it on the next day. Late assignments, students who fail to turn in an assignment on a due date may still turn it in with reduced points. The highest grade you'll get is a 70, but they all must be turned in by the day prior to the test. Our tests are on specific days, so the due date will always be that, uh, or the late last day for turn in will always be the day before that. And then there will be at least two assessments per greeting period. Makeup tests should be scheduled for after school within the two days of returning to school. This is particularly important during the time frame that Ms. Uh, Pierce is out. You will have to make an appointment with me, Ms. Johnson, to be af uh, meet me after school to take your te makeup test because I have after school activities going on as well and I have other classes. So I need to make sure that I am in available for you. So make an appointment. And you can do that by sending me a message through Schoology and receiving a confirmation. Okay, so rules. These are generalized rules that I use in my classroom and I would suspect they uh, will apply to Ms. Pierce. She may come up with some different ones when she gets back. But basically be on time, ready to work, and with all necessary supplies, such as your Chromebook, paper, pencils, et cetera. Uh, follow the electronic policy, dev uh, device policy and procedure, which is detailed later. Take responsibility for actions, language, and learning. Show respect through appropriate language, behavior, and personal space. And remain in your seat in the de or designated area until given permission to move. And remain in your seat or designated areas until given permission to move about the room or until dismissed by the sub or teacher. So consequences on this campus are now set up as the first offense is a warning, uh, perhaps a behavior agreement. The second offense is uh, parent contact, again, modified behavior agreement. And the third contact is a, a third offense is the referral to the assistant principal. For these, I will be the one that will be making those phone calls. So I will get to know your parents just as much as Ms. Pierce will uh, once she gets back. So if your class is during fourth or fifth period, tardies are being taken in class. You will need to sign into the tardy log by entering your name, date, and time that you arrived. At the third tardy, um, you'll receive a warning. At the fourth and tardy, I will be con contacting your parents. And on the fifth tardy, it is a referral to the AP, and every tardy thereafter will be another referral. So the electronic device policy for her classroom is slightly different, simply because I'm not in there. Uh, the cell phones must be turned off uh, when you walk in the room and placed in your book bags. If the sub has to take up your cell phone, then I'm going to instruct her to turn it into the front office. So just be aware there are no cell phones allowed in the classroom classroom. Okay, so bookmark. Uh, these are websites that you'll need to bookmark or uh, make a, uh, make sure that you are familiar with. These are the ones that we'll be using during the school year. The first one is clever.com. This is more of a one-stop shop place to get to get all the rest of these websites. Um, it'll be set up in a way that you can just click on Schoology and it will go open up Schoology for you. Click on Khan Academy icon and it will go to I Khan Academy. Click on Edpuzzle and it'll go to Edpuzzle. Um, however, I recommend you go through each one of these websites so that you can actually view them. Schoology is where you'll find most of your assignments and your um, turn in your assignments and take your test. Khan Academy is where you will go to do additional practice on the st statistics and probability units on Khan Academy. Uh, these will be done in increments of about 10 minutes every other day or so. Um, and that's just to give you extra practice and a different perspective on how to teach something. So different way of teaching it. And then of course, Edpuzzle is where you'll find your journals, uh, your notes, and you'll watch videos, answer questions in there, and your journal grade will come straight from your Edpuzzle completions. So passes and policies. Um, the sub can write you a pass to the nurse, to the front office, to the library, but not to the restroom. Uh, 
Due to the COVID-19, restroom passes cannot be given this year. And the reason for that is because during your class, the restrooms are being um, actually cleaned. So just be aware, if it is an emergency, your sub will be writing you a pass to the nurse, not to the restroom. Okay, so for remote learners on Mondays, you have a mandatory face-to-face -face virtual meeting that lasts 20 minutes. This is going to be between 1040 and 11 a.m., which is during my uh, conference period. Uh, Thursdays, is there's an optional virtual uh, office hours by appointment. You'll send me an email through Schoology, and it will t tell me that um, you want to be meet with me that Thursday for five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever, or after school on Thursday. I have dedicated the Thursdays to only remote learner um, help. So if you need help after uh, uh, between 4.15 and 5, you will be able to meet with me on Team Meets. And I will have a link in Schoology uh, where you will go to, to be able to access that. Uh, these meeting times are until Ms. Pierce's return. After her return, your meeting times will change because she has a different conference hour than I do. So what kind of work will you be doing? Every day you will do a daily mandatory check-in in, in Schoology. This is for your attendance. If you're a remote learner, if you do not do these, you will be marked absent for every day you miss. Uh, if you're in class, this is how I'm going to help to make sure that the sub doesn't mark you absent incorrectly. So during your class period, if you're uh, in class, you will have to do this mandatory check-in. It's basically your warm-up. If you are a remote learner, you have 20, the 24-hour period of that day to do this check-in, um, and that way you will get um, credit for attendance. Um, during the week, you will have lessons videos on Edpuzzle to watch and take notes from, and then you will have a lesson that uh, assignment in Schoology that goes along with that Edpuzzle. So for this class, there basically there's a video, there's an assignment, there's a video, there's an assignment. It's pretty much a one-to-one -one thing. Now the way that the schedule is set up, you will have say Monday to do your note, watch the video and take your notes, and then Tuesday to work on the assignment. Um, if you want to get ahead, I would watch the videos and go ahead and get the notes done quick, and then that way you can spend more time on the assignments. Tests are always going to be on Tuesdays. Uh, those, day, those are designated by the district. Um, there will be a midpoint little mini quiz that might happen on Tuesdays when you're not taking a test. Remote learners will take their test using a proctored system and through Schoology. Uh, in-class students will take their test in class through Schoology, and students who miss a test are required to schedule a makeup test within two days of returning to class, and the makeup test will only be given during after-school hours by appointment, especially until Ms. Pierce gets back. So if you have any questions, you can contact Ms. Johnson, me, at my email address, christiana.johnson at gcloud.tisd.org. Or you can call my school classroom phone, 215-7126. But the best way to contact me is through Schoology Messenger. If you have a question about a specific problem on the assignment, take a screenshot of that assignment and include that in the message when you send it. A lot of times, I can answer the question through email um, pretty quickly where, where uh, you wouldn't even have to come for after school tutorials or something like that. However, I do want to remind everybody my uh, conference hour is third period, which means I may not be able to get back to you before the end of the day. I will reply, reply within 24 hours of when you have sent the, the, the initial message and um, either to set up an appointment to actually have a one-on-one -on -one virtual or in-person tutorial or by answering whatever question it was you had in the email. <laughs>